All right, what's up Vanlanders? I got something to share with you guys today. Um, I've been putting these awesome level gauges on all my water tanks and I just wanted to share with you guys how I'm doing it and what I'm using so that you can see the level of your water tank inside the van. Okay, so the system works with a float gauge like this and this just simply moves up as the water level goes up and falls as the water level drops. You hook that up to one of these gauges and I really love these analog gauges versus a digital one. Uh, they're just really cool. They're kind of retro and I just think they look awesome. They come in white with a white face. That's going to be for your fresh water tank and with a black face for the gray water tank or the black water, so you can tell which is which. All right, so let me show you how this all goes together. The first thing you wanna do is make sure that you have the right length of sensor for your tank. Um, they come in all different lengths, so uh, you just wanna make sure you have the right one. Also check on the bottom of the tank to look for structural supports uh, within the plastic, just to make sure that the sensor isn't gonna interfere with any of those. So what I did here is actually mark off the location of those ridges on the other side of the tank. I just want to make sure that the sensor can go all the way down uh, to the bottom without interfering with anything. So here I am just uh, locating where the hole will be. I'm also looking for one of the flattest spots on the top of the tank. There is a little bit of slope to it, but I would like it to be flat so that the sensor can ride up and down without being at an angle. So once you find the spot that you like, go ahead and put the washer down and mark the circle. And I'm gonna be cutting this with one of my favorite tools, which is a um, Christmas tree bit, if you will, or a step bit. And the reason I like this is because it takes away a little bit of material at a time. Also, it just so happens when you're cutting um, plastic like this, it will keep the shavings together. And I'm trying not to get any shavings inside the tank. All right, so once you've finished drilling the hole, you can put the washer back on and mark out the uh, little holes where you're going to punch the screws through. And then go ahead and drill out those holes. Again, try to keep the shavings away from the inside of the hole if you can. Once you have all those little holes drilled out, you can test fit the sensor make sure that it fits and that the holes line up. And then we're gonna go ahead and sink the screws in with the rubber washers to make sure that nothing leaks. All right, now let's figure out how all this goes together. So starting with the sensor, you have a pink wire and a black wire. And on the gauge itself, you have a blue wire, black wire, and a red wire, which you'll use and then the orange and the yellow are just for backlight, so you'll only select one of those or neither when you hook it up. Okay, and let's see how this gets hooked up. We start with the, um, the sensor that's in the tank that has a, a black and a pink wire. The black wire goes to the black wire on the gauge. That's actually the signal. The pink wire along with the blue wire on the gauge go to ground. Shove those in there together. And then the red wire is your power wire and when we turn it on we should see this start to read the level. There it is. Almost full. Here's a little time lapse of me just filling up the tank. Um, and you can see the level of the water go up as the tank is filled. So it does read basically um, at all levels. It's not like it's a third full, a half full, three quarters full, and then full, unlike a, an electronic gauge typically. This will actually give you um, 
a more accurate reading than an electronic cage, which I like. All right, so that's pretty much it. You've got the level sensor and you've got the level gauge. You put the two together with some 12 volt power and you've got a pretty cool way to read the level of your tank from inside the van. A uh, couple different options. You can backlight this. If you want a red backlight, you can hook the orange wire up to power. And if you want a yellow backlight, you can hook the yellow wire up to power. Um, another thing I'd recommend is to put the red power wire on a switch. Uh, that way at night you can shut it off and it won't be um, illuminated and also it won't be drawing any power when you're not using the van. So put this on a switch and um, that'll eliminate any unnecessary power draw. The final thing is um, the level sensor here does have to be the correct length or depth for the tank that you have. So I installed this on the North, Northwest Conversions tank which is 10 inches tall so I used a 9 inch sensor. And if you go with some of the other tanks that are common that are 11 inches tall, you might use a 10 inch sensor. So um, if this is interesting to you and you might want to do it on your van, uh, check the link in the description below. I've got these together as a package with the tank, uh, the correct sensor, and then your choice of whether you want the white or black face on your um, monitor here. So uh, if you need any help, give me a call. Otherwise, we will see you guys next time.